Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel to another episode of Darkfire Heroes. And in today's video, we want to look at the best starter team, which you should use when you've just started to play the game. And you should use this team, especially as a free to play player, because these cards will be easy to get in the game. We will look at all the different heroes to use, why I'm using them and how you should use them. And we'll have a look at the short aspects of each hero. If you don't want to miss any news about the game or a video in the future, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for free to my channel. First of all, a short disclaimer. This video is based on opinions and most likely on my own opinion. For sure you can have a different opinion um, as it is normal as there are so many different aspects in the game and everybody has a dis different opinion. So just write it in the comment section so that we can discuss about the several opinions so that we can all get better and improve from the knowledge of other players. Thanks for that. Now let's have a look at the team. The core team, there are some important things. Please be aware that we will only look at some core aspects of each hero. We will not do an in-depth analysis of each hero, therefore we will do a specific hero video in the future, which we have done in the past. For Oto, it is called Hero Spotlight about Oto. And therefore we will do it in the future for the other heroes as well. The core team mainly consists of Lies. Yera, Oto, Nienna, Jose, Lorenzo and Ayul. They are all common heroes and you will be able to collect them quite early in the game. These heroes are suggestions and you shall not level them um, as much as possible if you want to stay under the level 15. And now you're asking why level 15? That is simple as there are the weekend based events where you are put into different brackets and the higher you are or the higher the bracket is where you are placed in, the harder it will get for you to get a good position. And simply said, the lowest tier ends at level 15, starting at level 1. That's why a lot of people, my included, are staying under level 15 or as a maximum of level 15. In the next part, we want to speak about the hero abilities, their core stats and where and how to use them. Starting with Leers, he is a damage dealer from the water element, which is available as soon as you start the game. And his focus is dealing damage against single targets. He's causing physical damage as a ranged hero with a damage of 25 damage per second at level 10. So that means without any equipment, he is causing 25 damage each second when he is auto attacking the enemy. His ultimate attack called Triple Spears firing three spears one after another at the enemy and knocks back the enemy for a short distance it does or the hero does really high amounts of damage against tough units as well as against the tower coming to yera yera is a damage dealer from the element water which will be available to get from chests after reaching level 9. So she will not be available when you've started the game. You need to wait a little bit, but she is definitely worth to wait for as she is causing insane amounts of damage. At level 10 without any equipment, she's even causing more damage per second as our Leers. She's causing 27.78 damage per second and the damage is magical. As well as the damage from her ultimate attack called Water Wave is magical damage as well and as you all should know magical damage is quite rare at dark fire here so it will help you in some situations in the game especially in dungeons and in the campaign where you meet up the screen ghosts which get some extra damage from magical attacks or which just get less damage from physical attacks the ultimate is called water wave and it creates a wave hitting everybody on its way and knocking back the enemy in a medium range or for a medium range and as I said before, a really important thing is that she's causing magic damage with her ultimate as well as her auto attack. And furthermore, she is causing some splash damage, which the description of Yara is telling us, when she kills an enemy. I didn't even know that before I started doing the video. Coming to the next one. We want to look at Oto. We already did a video hero spotlight about him, so just check it out. And he is a melee tank from the element Earth and he's causing physical damage with his auto attack as well with his ultimate power. As he is a tank he is not causing that much damage 
at level 10 without any items it will be 14.44 damage per second and as you might already know he is definitely not the best tank in game but from my point of view he is the most flexible one especially because of his ultimate power that said his ultimate power is called crown pound and with that power he straight jumps into the enemy's face knocking the enemy back for a short range and causing the status effect death. There is a video about status effect as well, just check it out. With his special skills, the fourth one called power jump, he will be even able to stun the enemies for a certain amount of time. Therefore he needs to be level 10 and the other three skills need to be um, leveled before. The ultimate attack makes him to a real beast, especially in the arena, as he can jump over all the map, beside the points where you cannot get at Darkfire heroes, and is causing quite some damage and stuns and disables the enemy. Coming to the next one on the list, which we already discussed about, that is Nienna, my highest level right now. And Nienna is another Earth hero with the role as a damage dealer. And at level 10 she is causing 21.76 damage per second with an auto hit. But the clue about Nienna is her ultimate ability where she fires a high amount of arrows to at least 5 targets in a medium area. Both attacks are causing physical damage and ultimate attack gets boosted with her skills and that makes you really really strong, makes her really really strong and I really like to play and she is really flexible. Um, for PvP modes as well as for the PvE modes such as the campaign. Coming to Jose. Jose is a damage dealer from the element Fire as you already can see here and he is causing on level 10 without any items 25.91 damage per second and he is causing physical damage with his normal attack as well as with his ultimate attack and the clue about him is his ultimate attack called Explosive Arrow. And the name already tells us something explosive. That means he is causing damage in an area from the medium size. And the special thing is that he even can critical hit with his ultimate attack. And with that said, he can even clear medium sized enemies with his ultimate in a really nice area. That is really crazy and is, that's why I simply equipped every crit item to him bringing him with his special to 24% points hit chance right now. As next, we want to look at the hero which I did not level, and that is Lorenzo. He's a damage dealer as well, and he's from the element air. And to be honest, I underestimated this guy completely at the beginning of the game. That's why I didn't level him. If the moment when I knew how good he is, it was just too late to level him as well as I want to stay lower than level 15 or lower than level 16 on level 15 and he is really really good to use he's causing 23.33 damage per second on level 10 with his auto attack which is physical damage and his ultimate attack chain lightning that's crazy is from the type magical so that's the guy causing with his auto attack physical damage and with the ultimate some further magical damage which is quite rare dark fire heroes and with the ultimate attack, he's causing a chain lightning, hitting an enemy, and the lightning will jump over two, three extra targets, causing further damage. So he's really, really nice to use. Now we want to look at the last hero on the list, and that is Ayul. Ayul is from the element Earth as well, and the best healing unit in the game, too, from my opinion. She's not causing that much damage on level 10, it, it is 9.17 damage per second as a magical attack. Uh, and with, this, uh, with her ultimate attack she's causing no damage, but she is healing your unit for 200, which is quite nice. And she's healing a single hero. She will automatically heal the hero with the lowest amount of HP if you just click on it. And you can for sure, uh, with, with causing the spell on a specified hero she will heal that so it's not only out to click you can choose which hero you want to you uh, want to heal with that said we should now look at the tier list of these seven heroes which i uh, would prefer for a starting team and if you can see now the 
overview they are all from the rating or from the overall rating a as well as s the overall rating is just the sum up of every specific mode in dark fire heroes and their single rating on each mode we just want to focus on the main aspects but you see the graphic and you may um, will have some other thoughts about it as you can see Yera a rating as well as lorenzo ayul and otto and the three Jocelyers and Yena with the S rating. And as you already can see, the red one, S plus, is the best rating. And they are all, except I will insane at the Arena race mode, which is definitely the fact why I focused on this mode, as they are easy to get and it will help you a lot at the PvP modes. And um, as I already said, they are really good to use. There are some negative things which I should tell you as well. There is no support there under the uh, seven heroes, which can give you a shield or causing some other status effect at the enemy. Uh, so that can be a lack of, of, of abilities for sure. But for the beginning, they are just enough. And even with that team, as you can see uh, here, I'm still using uh, most of them. Uh, at the arena and it was no problem for me to get to 4000 trophies and to get uh, at the dungeons to at least level 9 complete level 9 and some dungeons as well elemental dungeons i can complete level 10 but that is depending on on the element for sure another negative thing is that auto is not the best tank in game as luke is for example much better there are even some better ones but luke is a rare one still quite good to get that's why I've chosen to use Luc for the PvE modes as my main tank and that's why I've leveled him up. But with the 7 units I've described to you or I've shown to you, you are still really good in the game and you will enjoy. Especially the PvP mode with auto jumping straight onto the enemy, which should help you to climb up the leaderboard and get some further or climb up the trophy road and get some further rewards to even level up your units. and now as we talked about the seven heroes you still need to choose in between five my main heroes for the for the arena are as i said Uto as well as four damage dealers to be honest um and that's just, just depending on the circumstance i'm using call but from the standard team i would prefer jose Lears, Nienna, and Uto as the damage dealer, and yera to cause a lot of AOE damage, so some, some splash damage, as well as some single target uh, damage to kill the towers really fast. So that's it, all about the starter team. And I hope you've liked the video. If yes, thumb up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And we will see us again in tomorrow's video. And now one last um, thing. Please write your opinions about this team and your starter team, which you've chosen in the comment section. And as I said before, this is a team really good for a free to play uh, player for sure. When you're playing in the game, there are some early epics you can get, which you should focus as well on. So that's it for today. Hope you have enjoyed the video and see you guys in tomorrow's video about Darkfire Heroes.